I genuinely think I found the worst podcast and the worst podcast host in the world. Hi sisters, today we're talking about a podcast that posts a shit ton of clips on TikTok called Whatever Pod. They have 43,000 followers on TikTok, but apparently most of their views are on YouTube. You may remember the YouTube channel Whatever. They had hits such as Drowning Baby Prank, Camel Toe Prank, Asking 100 Guys for Sex. Okay, I remember these videos. They were shocking. They had the thumbnails and the fucking titles to draw in teenage boys. And you know, I am no stronger than any other fella. Now they're doing this weird right wing talk show on YouTube live. And it is very, very interesting. So let's check it out. Here's the first clip that popped up on my for you page. I absolutely love it. And I think you will too. I'm going to be honest with you. You're not a 10. All right. I'm not saying that to be mean, but you're not a 10. Okay. Okay. You ask a girl to rate themselves on a scale of one to 10. Sometimes they say 10 and you say, I don't know if you have eyeballs or not. You're not a 10. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're not a 10. You never have been. You never will be. And then you get the girl's reaction, expecting them to say something like, thank you so much for saying this to me. It's only fair, right? You you rated me. Yeah. I'm not going to, I'm not even going to rate you, but uh, I'll just say that you're not a 10. Okay. That doesn't hurt me. <laughs> I'm not I'm not trying to hurt you. Are you down to revise your answer? If we got makeup remover? No, my makeup's expensive. Why would I want to take it off? A, no. Is there a difference? It's expensive. <laughs> I'm not taking it off, Brian. Is there a difference in no. your rating <laughs> with makeup, without makeup? <laughs> oh my god. Listen, I think that you have ugly personalities, so under that stuff, you're going to look like Nanny McPhee. Come on now. That's not nice. Also, these girls are coming onto your podcast and you're expecting them to be like, no, thank you so much. Thank you so much for saying this to me. <laughs> I told you, Brian, it's all about confidence. Why would I do any? Why would I? I don't know. <laughs> what do you want me to do? And I'm not using those makeup wipes either. Oh. Get better ones. If you get Missler water or something, maybe. You're <laughs> so above Neutrogena, right? You know what? I shouldn't be saying anything because my skin is absolutely terrible, but Neutrogena, he's like, yeah, I got the highest quality. It's Neutrogena. Hey man, I don't think you know anything about skincare. Obviously, neither do I, but like Neutrogena? Right. We okay. all are. Yes. Is we that, all are. I take care of my skin. Oh. I spent, I like spent so much money at Ulta the other day getting a bunch oh. of skincare products. <laughs> Can I have them? Or maybe is my skin going to clear up after my 100 days and I'm not stressed every day? What's wrong with Neutrogena? Everything. <laughs> so what's wrong with it? It's just like not safe for your skin at all. Yeah, it's like not safe. I knew that. <laughs> it's not like I went to Walmart and shopped for some skincare products and most of them ended up being Neutrogena. Ooh. I mean, besides the skincare fact, like this guy is expecting there to be a positive result from the things that he says. I don't think so. There's no way that you can confront someone and say, I think you're ugly underneath all that makeup and I don't know, expect things to go well, but this is his entire thing. He pokes and pokes and pokes without these girls expecting it. And then honestly, I'm surprised he posts these clips because it always makes him look terrible. Even the comments agree. You're so above Neutrogena, right? We all are. Slay. Not only was he looking for a reaction, he brought Neutrogena? I don't know. Actually, there's a lot to learn in these comments. This is awesome. You're so above Neutrogena, right? We all are. Exactly. What else you got? St. Ives apricot scrub? Is that bad for your skin? Whew. Maybe I need some recommendations. <laughs> Holy shit, leave some in the comments below. All I know is that, you know, when I take off my makeup at the end of the day and I look like a big ugly Shrek being, I'll uh, think of Brian from the Whatever podcast. You have two boxes, right? You have yeah. just hookup box and relationship box. Mm -hmm. Do you make the relationship bo go box guys, you make them wait? Yeah. And the then ones the hookup the guys right away and that's the crazy part is is like those guys usually like if they're in the hookup box it's because i don't see them in a way like they're not good enough to be relationship wise so like maybe i'll let them hit, hit. it yeah <laughs> maybe i'll let them oh hit it smash boom yes Brian, you don't need to say it out loud. She's like, maybe we'll like do something. He's like, oh, you mean uh, intercourse, sexual intercourse, sexual intercourse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. I got that. <laughs> this guy's like the horniest man in the world. That's fucking awesome. I also think it's okay to have standards, right? Like you can have a hookup box and a relationship box. I completely understand not letting people in emotionally, but just being attracted to somebody's body. But to Brian, that's an insane thing. But it's like the same for me. Like. I am also a f boy. <laughs> uh, but but wouldn't you uh, wouldn't you rather reward 
the relate the, the guys who would be worthy of a relationship so i think this is where things go wrong you just said the word reward oh can i have my treat i was nice to you today can you give me a little treat yeah that's right i care about your feelings do you mind if i get a little hungry snack <laughs> the fuck dude that makes no sense i mean like a dog if you do the dishes i'll fuck you to me it would make sense you give those guys the sex soon and then you curve the not boys. curve them but like or i would want them to wait to see if we have a genuine connection before i do that you know just because like if it's mm. serious to me then it's going to be Oof. serious to me but if it's not serious to me then it's absolutely not and i okay so he's never heard of casual sex i mean neither have i I've been with the same girl for eight years but i've you know heard of casual sex like audibly just not partaken i guess just view it as see a hookup. I, I gotta comment on that as ahead, a guy that bothers me <laughs> I'm sure it does, that, but like the guys I'm hooking up with or continuing to like talk to don't know how I do oh, things. Right. I also love that he's like, that would make me so mad. I mean, if I was lucky enough to be in a relationship with you, it would just break my little ooh tiny boy heart. <laughs> this guy's takes just get worse and worse. Here's a cool one about plastic surgery and modifying your body to make it so that you enjoy it more. There's so many options Lord. nowadays. I feel like you don't even need to be inserting plastic. It could be a S curve, which is just a transfer of fat, and yeah, people should do insane. whatever they want. Seriously. I agree. Mm -hmm. But most women who get breast implants get like, uh, what, what is it? The silicon or the gummy bear? I don't know what it's. The silicon or the gummy bears or the gummy. And then he goes like this, man, what? The gummy, the gummy bears, the, you know, like the ground up pig's hooves that goes into gelatin. Like they just put that in and they uh, flavor it with blue raspberry. The fuck is this guy talking about? It's called the, the material. Gummy bears. Gummy bears. And, then, and then at the same there's time, there's I there's see a lot of men be tricked by plastic surgery where they think that's all natural and it isn't, mm -hmm. but it's just a notion. And yeah, that does raise the other thing when it comes to dating, like, are you being inauthentic are you misrepresenting your appearance i've actually never heard this side of things i've heard the makeup being like lying to your partner but where is he going with this right you cut your toenails or cut your hair but that's not how it would be naturally without modifying <laughs> the fuck yeah no shit if you have ass implants that's who you are that's that's not something that you can just remove it's not something that you put in for a date this is like a constant thing that's going into somebody's body what i look like that like what are you talking no, with about fake it's like if you have fake uh, tits. and they're on me for the rest of my life i right. look like that what do you mean how am i coming off well like but like else? for example if you're wearing a shirt it, you might not a guy might not be able to listen i got fake boob radar i can tell <laughs> i could tell i can t but if she's wearing like something where you can't really you tell you can tell she has big boobs but you can't tell if they're fake then it's not a fucking problem then it doesn't fucking matter <laughs> dude when you can tell that like she has big boobs but you wonder if they're like big old natural milkers or with their plastic milkers it's very very troubling i feel like it's deceptive because when i stare at every woman i see and sexualize them and try to x-ray vision what's under their clothes then i really get worried if i'm you know being deceived mm -hmm. um that is to some degree misrepresenting your appearance okay what's this beard can you tell me what this beard is what does your jawline look like under that beard aren't you hiding that i would say that that's more of a misrepresentation than any sort of implant because the implants are actually there forever hypothetically that beard you could just shave off and we could see if you have a chin or no chin shout out to uh, leafy is here and also me. Lastly, we all know and love this guy. I don't know what his name is, but he's a full piece of shit. And I am so excited to hear what he's saying. Also, the grip that he has on this microphone, he's like tilting it. Like, what the fuck is he doing? You said women have been oppressed by man since the dawn of civilization. How? If you don't know that, I'm not going to explain to you. People don't. If you don't know that, then you don't deserve the explanation. I honestly think that that's an okay thing to say. 
you know? If you're like, yeah, the Holocaust was bad, and then somebody goes, yeah, but why? It's like, well, it was just bad. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know any details. It was just bad. I don't like you in real life. I'll tell you this right now. You're very you rude. You're, Wait, you're oh, very I'm rude. Very <laughs> Listen, I know we just met, but people fucking hate you in real life, and you're just going to take that. You're going to take that, and you'll store it in the back of your brain, and you're going to take that home, and you're going to bring that home with you, and I want you to think about that for the rest of your life, that people don't like you. It's funny that she's like, you know what? I don't want to explain that. I feel like I've explained it enough. You, it, it should make sense to you. And he goes, you're being really fucking awful, okay? Nobody fucking likes you in real life. Very rude. You're, you're oh, very I'm rude. I'm very rude. I'm giving, I came here to give you're my very opinion. Rude. I was invited here to give my opinion and that's what. It, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And you're not gonna shun me and you're not gonna shut me out and call me obnoxious because mister, I can say the exact same thing about you. Hmm. Look at you. You come in here and you're just gonna talk to these 18, 19, really early 20 year old girls. How old are you? I already told you. I don't remember. Oh, shocker. Okay. Oh, shocker. Women don't remember numbers. The only number that a woman remembers is the numbers on my credit card. <laughs> the numbers on my credit card, my social security, my CVV, my home address, the password to my lockbox that has all my guns. I should really change that stuff. Oh, I think I'm going to be murdered for my riches. Because guys, 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 You're not going to go here and call me obnoxious. You are obnoxious. Okay, Whoa. people don't like you. Okay, well, here's the thing, man. You have no definition between your teeth. Got him. You have no definition between your teeth. Ha! Your teeth literally are the same as this H back here, or this O, man. There is no difference in color or shape. You take a Whoa. good look at yourself if you're gonna come here onto a dating show and talk it's a dating to me, show. That's a awesome. Twenty-one year old girl that way. Am I insulting you? No. John, but she does have a point. You actually. called me a bitch and never you once called, did you I cut. Ooh, I missed the B word part. I'm going to be honest, but that would have been fascinating. All the comments are agreeing with her. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. I also love that he's projecting. He's like, listen, people don't fucking like you in person. People don't like you. We've been talking for about 30 minutes, but I can tell already that you're the most hateable person on the planet. <laughs> Jesus, man, shut the fuck up. You're the worst. This is the only time that I've ever sided with the host of that podcast. It's kind of funny. He has terrible, terrible takes. And then finally he's like, I do agree with her. She's pretty based in her opinion. That's a pretty pong opinion if you ask me. Will you go out with me, please? <laughs> Fuck. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, then please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you to all my members for supporting me. If you want to become a member, then click the link in the description below. Also, check out my clothing brand and fun for people with chronic illness. Never stop. I have a second channel. I have a podcast. My girlfriend has a channel. It's pretty amazing. So please check it out. Have a wonderful day. Bye.